Hey guys, it's Tate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is Sunday, which means upgrades today inside of Team of the Season La Liga. We have to talk about the market crash that is happening right now and what's going to be going on today on Sunday with potential upgrades, more SBCs, and maybe some of those SBCs being icon player or maybe even icon upgrade SBCs. We'll talk about that because today is a big day, but we are in the midst of a market crash, albeit not a huge one, but we're seeing some pretty substantial drop-offs on prices across this market. Team of the season cards, you know, other out-of-pack specials that were super duper high, they're really coming down in price and fodder is going up because of those new SBCs in Coutinho and Trippier that came out yesterday. So I want to talk about what's going on with this market. A lot of fluctuations, a lot of movements, also a lot of coins were able to be made today. And I'll say this right now, you look at my trance list and like, Nate, what is going on right now? I bought four sterlings tonight at um, just around a million coins. This guy was 1.2 to 1.3 mil this weekend. I sold one already at 1.137. I have one listed up. I'm listing mine one at a time because I want that card to stay very rare. And, you know, we're making sales, right? Huge money was made today around the content drop, around this Varan. I'll talk about that as well. But a lot of these cards are on the downward spiral. And I think that continues today. So let's again talk about what's happening today. Just like last Sunday, I'm expecting the same thing to happen with the upgrade packs. Probably the same 25K La Liga premium upgrade SBCs alongside the La Liga upgrade, which will give you the 80 plus La Liga pack or La Liga player. And then probably some sort of player pick. Maybe they'll change up the player pick. Maybe they'll change up that 80 plus. But I really hope that they put out that premium pack today. Now, if they change the upgrade packs, the only thing I would want them to change would be add the 81 plus player pick instead of a rare player pick. If we had all of those out at the same time, that would be incredible because a lot of people are looking forward to crafting all the SBCs that we're getting. As of right now, we have had more player SBCs during La Liga team in the season after two days of this promo than we did in the entire last week of Premier League ties. This Trippier SBC coming out today, an 81 and an 86 rated squad. Very good card for Lynx, right? It's actually cheaper than his card because he had an SBC last year from Community Tots. It's actually cheaper, and I think the card is just as good. Very good for Lynx right here. I know a lot of you guys have Tavernier, but of course, green link to Correa on that right side. Um, you know, a lot of your English links that were in Prem Tots or EFL Tots. This guy is a great squad building piece. Pretty decent card as well if you look at the in games and at the stats. But this is the SBC that everybody is going berserk about. Five star skills, four star weak foot, Mr. Coutinho. We go back to back days with big time flashback SBCs with Marcelo and Coutinho. And this made fodder go crazy today. You're going to see a lot of La Liga links be huge later on this weekend. I want to talk about maybe some potential buys we could be looking into today um, with. These La Liga links and a lot of hype now transitioning towards the La Liga. But everybody is loving this card in Coutinho. It's supposedly really, really good in game. Uh, I'm going to be crafting this SBC through the upgrade packs that we get today. So I am expecting those upgrade packs to come out. A couple things people have mentioned as well is the new Icon SBC. Since we had one set go away, I believe we had one set go away. Um, I think... People are expecting a potential new set of icons today. Now, there were a couple leaks, quote unquote, leaks floating around that it might be like a Cantona. It might be a Raul. And there was somebody else in there as well. I think Desai. Now, I, I hope those would be all the moments versions. But if we had a moments Cantona SBC, that would be by far the most expensive SBC for an icon moments player. Uh, out a market value for an SBC, basically. Uh, so I'd be very interested to see what EA priced that as. Now, tomorrow we have icon swaps as well. So Monday is going to be icon swaps. Um, I know a lot of people are expecting a certain amount of like nationalities or, you know, some sort of like objectives and they're investing in that. I really don't mess around with that stuff too much. Um, messing around and trying to invest in cards that will go up with the objectives for icon swaps. But if that is something that you're into, I mean, there's probably places to look on the market for that. I think people are looking at like League One cards. Um, I, I don't think League One was one of the leagues that was required last time in the friendlies. So I think people are looking at that route right now. So that's kind of interesting uh, at the moment as well. But really what's going on in this market is people need coins to do SBCs. They, they're finishing their weekend league and prices are crazily going down. Now, I'm not even going to look at the La Liga Tots right away. I'm going to show you the Premier League team of the season 
and show you these cards, but also show you how you could trade yesterday and today. These cards are fluctuating everywhere as there's periods of panic selling. Then the cards kind of bounce back and get rare. Take a look at this Yun Min Sun. Friday morning, 2.3 million coins this card was. And today, Sun dropped all the way from, I think it was like 2.2 still on, on a Friday morning. Saturday morning, 2.27 all the way down to 1.9 flat. He's right now back up about 60K at 1.955. But again, Friday morning, 2.33 mil. So you saw huge drop-offs as the people sold these cards and sold their teams out of this weekend to get coins. But this is what I'm talking about with the trading. And you can probably still do this today on Sunday, even though cards might drop a little lower. Watch this Harry Kane. Look what happened to him today. Up at 470,000 coins early Saturday morning, dropped down to 362. I actually saw some in the 350s and he's rebounded back to 400,000 coins. Some cards dropped too low today and they rebounded back. Juan Bissaka is another one. I bought this guy Friday and he rebounded. He's rebounded back up again from a low on Saturday, he went down to 770,000 coins, rebounded back up to 829. I know there's not a ton of profit in that. He went back down to 790, and now it looks like he's back up to 820. So if you see profitable fluctuations on some cards, keep an eye on them because they're going to be moving around. This Salah was just 1.17. He's back up to 125. This De Bruyne was 1.2. Uh, Bruno was down 300K today. On the lower tier, you had Mason Mount, who was 250 at one point. He is now 270. Luke Shaw was 249. He's now back to 275. So there are plenty of fluctuations on those cards. And these La Liga Tots as well. Um, I bought a De Young today. De Young was extinct at 2.1 million coins until right before the content drop. Uh, dude, this guy keeps getting undercut. I don't know what it is. People keep undercutting this De Young card. And I, I've seen it twice now on Footbin where... Somebody has undercut the card by 100,000 coins. And if that is still there, it's not. But I would buy it, right? He's 1.84. If somebody undercuts at 175, I'm definitely going to snag that, that card. So this guy is chilling at 1.8. Um, I still think that these cards that are in La Liga team in the season are probably going to drop down even more today. But again, these prices that you're seeing for all of these cards are significantly down. Benzema was not, of course, he was 1.1 extinct. He went down to 740K early on Saturday, right before the content drop. And that was something we talked about in yesterday's video. Some cards get low before the content drop, they rebound back. And I made big coins today on a Benzema that I got at 730, sold them at 800, and I bought a Varan, a cheeky Varan. Um, I missed an insane snipe at 1.8 million coins on stream. There's a clip on the TikTok if you wanna check that out. Um, but this guy was down at 2.8 mil and I got a snipe at 2.7 million coins right around the content drop right here. I got a snipe at 2.7. He got bought back and I sold it for 2.3.2 mil. So I made about 340,000 coins, I think was the actual math on that card right there. 340K profit after tax was an awesome flip. Messi has been between 4.2 and 4.7 today. Llorente had a huge rise as well. People were selling this into the content drop and he rose massively. So I do think that you're going to see prices and graphs kind of like this, not as extreme as yesterday, but you're going to see more prices moving around today. And especially if the upgrade packs come out and if there's more icon SBCs or some sort of big time SBC, I would seriously think that a lot of these prices on the market are going to go a little bit lower. But I hope a lot of you guys sold earlier because some of these cards, uh, they're, they're low and they're, they're going to continue to go lower, right? Now, some cards tonight, the very rare high tier ones like this De Young. If I saw De Young naturally get down to about 1.77, I would get intrigued again because he's been around 1.9 million coins after the dust kind of settles. Now I'm kind of watching Suarez tonight and I'm watching um, the uh, Messi card as well because I think the Suarez is getting pretty rare on the market and he's also dropping a lot. 1.079 for this card and if I take a look up to 1.2 mil, he's got one page. He basically has a page and a half of cards up to 1.2 mil and no overnights. And that for me is something where I think that in the next maybe 30 minutes to an hour, if I see a couple more undercuts in this card, if I saw like 1.05, then I would probably get very interested because 1.05, if I could see up 100,000 coins, which would be about 40K profit for me, there's really not that many cards there. So this, the panic selling, the undercutting could very easily... Um, stop here in the next half an hour on a Suarez like this, and he'll rebound back up. Same thing with Messi. Messi's kind of been dropping all afternoon. I'm really hoping to get a Messi at 4.1. If I can sell one of my um, 
Wow, look at this man, Messi. If I search 4.5 million coins, there's a 4.4 and there's a 4.2. There's a couple 4.1 open bids that I've been watching. And if I could get a Messi at 4.1 or below, then I'm going to be interested in that. I don't know if I'm going to have the coins because I'm a little bit short right now. Um, I need one of my Sterlings to sell. But, uh, you know, I think Messi is probably going to rebound back up because people are still going to want to try these cards a little bit heading into Sunday and they're just going to fluctuate based on rarity. So if you're going to try to trade on the market today, that is risky, but it is definitely something that you can do. Now, again, I want to take a look at SBC fodder because this market went up big today on the SBC fodder timeframe and it drained a lot of coins because if you take a look at this, people doing Coutinho, right? Very popular player with the five-star skills, very meta. He doesn't have the finesse shot trait, which we think he should have, but he did not give that to him. Uh, he's 413,000 coins, which that kind of, you know, ex, ex, not like expanded or uh, it made it made the market crash a little bit worse today is what I'll say. I think if you take a look around the market, I think a lot of cards went down a lot after 6 p.m. too because of this SBC coming out. Um, and, and that just was part of the equation today. But look at 86s. They absolutely exploded. Informs were great investments. If you did any of the informs from this brand new team of the week, they went up a decent amount today. Uh, like Consigli and Calhano Glue, those guys went up a really good amount and so did your fodder. So what this really might be is... EA putting out SBCs to kind of raise that fodder market back up again so that they can drain more coins and put out more icon SBCs. And the, those icon SBCs will now come out at more, you know, a little bit higher prices. Now, fodder was so, so, so cheap that if they would have put out icon SBCs, people have been very, very inv involved and interested in those. And they would have been, you know, easy to do, quote unquote, easy. But with the fodder rising up today like it did, uh, it's going to make that stuff a little bit more expensive out of pocket. So EA kind of drained your club or maybe drained your first amount of coins with this Coutinho and Marcelo um, that came out in the trip year. And then not now maybe today they're going to rock in with some Icon SBCs, more guaranteed tots coming on later this week. So it looks like fodder, honestly, with, with probably not a lot more supply coming on this week, fodder's going to probably continue to trickle up during the week this week as people are doing SBCs and depending on the content that comes today. So that was very interesting. I can't gloss over this. We had brand new Man of the Match items. Uh, headliner Mares is going to be upgraded to a 91 because we had an 89 rated Mares that came out today. This Mares is going to go up to a 91. It's going to look even more cracked than he has before. EA giving another uh, Mares special card. We had a Cavani, Laporte, Reyna, Huan He Chan, which will upgrade his ones to watch, <laughs> which I think uh, is going to be a, a big upgrade for that card since it's never been upgraded before. But again, if you look at a lot of these prices and we'll scroll through some of the rest of the market, this stuff just went down big time today. Buendia, 340. He was down to 320 at one point. Uh, your English right backs got hit a lot today, especially this Aaron's card on the lower tier. He got uh, hit a lot. Now, I want to show you Romarinho. A lot of your Brazilian center attacking mids, uh, another one by the name of Anthony, Future Stars, he went down big earlier today as well. Romarinho was down like 230,000 coins, I think, right after the SBC was released. Yeah, 220, he went back to 240, and now he's at 250. So you saw a lot of panic on some of these Brazilian center attacking mids. Um, Lucas Mora was another one. Um, Anthony, can I find your card? Here we go. Lucas Mora's foot birthday card was another one where there was a lot of panic selling. Wow, 280 for Anthony. So he rebounded back pretty well too because he was down at 223 and he's back up to 280. So that is a very interesting fluctuation right there. Lucas Mora is 710. That's a crazy undercut, but he was mostly around like the 720, 730 range, I think at his lowest. 683, I missed that, man. Look at that bounce. 683 and bounce back to 770. So there was a lot of market movements today on some of those cards with that Coutinho coming out. Very, very hyped, of course. Now, again, talking about La Liga special cards in a part of the team of the season, I think that you're waiting. If you want to buy these for your team, I think you're going to continue to wait because you want to be waiting until that time frame when we would get a lot closer. Well, there's an open bit on Messi. When we would get a lot closer to the guaranteed Tots SBC. So if you want any of the La Liga Tots cards in your team, I think you're really going to want to wait on those um, until we get to that Tuesday, Wednesday time frame. Because right now there's a lot of coins being drained from the market. And I really think that is going to continue. And I think all these cards are going to continue to drop off and go lower in price icons as well i think there might be a little bit of you know extra sell-off this weekend on some of the icons because you know people are maybe 
maybe a slight bit scared that maybe the icon they have in their team is going to be a part of icon swaps, which, you know, the chances of that are still pretty slim. But I guess that I guess that worry is kind of out there and that thought process is there that, hey, maybe my car, card is going to be in. So they're selling it. Um, I know I traded with that Henri. I actually didn't make coins on that Henri. Um, it was a nice, it was a 200K undercut at the time, but the panic selling kept, ha kept happening uh, and it looked like he was going to go lower. So maybe made it out on him, but I would not have been able to buy the sterlings that I did if I would have held out on this car. And it looks like he's still 2.3 mil, which is kind of right where I sold him. So that is that. Um, there were coins to be made today for sure. We've had a really good month trading in this. this. I'm very motivated in trading right now because making 300K on one, I mean, between these four cards right here, it's an easy over 400,000 coins. And, you know, if I can flip these all for like 30, 40, 50K profit tonight, um, you know, that's that's an easy five, 600K day. Um, 600,000 coins actually right on the money with all of these cards. So very, very happy with that. And that just means more upgrade packs uh, during team of the season that I will be hopefully doing this week. But again, this is 100% a market crash because people want to get coins. You know, we bought these on a Friday night at 970K, 980. He's back at the same price. Adama was 950K this weekend. He's back under 800K or he was earlier today. So I honestly think that a lot of stuff is gonna to continue to go a little bit lower. I think it's gonna go a little bit lower today and you're gonna see potential. This is the last thing I wanna talk about with the weekend league sell-off. I think there is potential to pick up some cards on crazy low deals from La Liga and Premier League specials or just meta cards in general. Um, you know, like Awar was 545, he's back to 577. Atal was like 760, he's back up 30,000 coins. I think that some of your La Liga special cards, especially some of your Barcelona links, um, are gonna be looks this weekend for sure. And if you wanna take a bit of a riskier play, some of the specials last week from the Prem were their absolute cheapest on Sunday night. So if you find a very rare, very popular La Liga special card, I don't know if it's gonna be the same this week, because of course, last week during the Prem, we had not as many SBCs and there wasn't as much hype, but I would still take a look around the market today. And I would say, um, if you see a loud league special card, that is something that you think is not going to rise, or maybe even a Bundesliga special card with Bundesliga coming up this next Friday. Like I'm really watching this Fatih because of the Barcelona links and he has a very meta and just OP card in this game. And it's going to fit right into the La Liga meta that people are maybe trying out this week. This Dest card was panic sold today with the Trippier card. So I'd be careful with right backs, even though this guy was down to like 200k, I think. With the Coutinho links, he has shot back up. Yeah, 198 and then he shot up with the Coutinho links. Um, actually, Jordi Alba flew today. He's up 100,000 coins. Uh, well, there's an undercut right there, but he was 380,000 coins, 390 right at the content drop and he ballooned to 500k. Uh, because of those links to Coutinho as well. So you saw a lot of these TOTS La Liga links um, or cards kind of fluctuate today with those new SBC releases. So if there's cards that went up today that are now coming back down, like this Bergwijn, 336, that's pretty cheap. Subasly, 127, that's pretty cheap. I'd keep an eye on your out-of-packs market, especially Prem, because people are still going to use Prem cards, right? They're still going to use Prem. They're still going to want to link them together. Um, and you know, have those cards in their teams, but also they're going to want to try to join that La Liga uh, part of their squad in there too. So keep an eye on the out of pack special market, your cards that bounce around all the time, the rare ones like this Ben Yedder, 473 for Ben Yedder is really low. This Zaha is really low. This Bruno is very, very low. I like this Felix card. If he doesn't get an SBC this week uh, for maybe a little bit of a rebound and then, you know, even like a road to the final Varane, I'd keep an eye on this guy, right? Cause he was 1.05 earlier today. He's rebounded back up to 1.13 because the team of the season is so expensive. This might be a quote-unquote low point for some of your La Liga special cards um, until later on in the week. Now, of course, that might not be the case if uh, we get big-time SBCs and that causes more panic and people are just all about um, the packs and the SBCs later on this week. If we get better content this week, you might see more panic and cards actually getting cheaper as we move on throughout the week. But I just kind of wanted to throw that out there because I do feel like you are going to see some low prices today on Sunday that might kind of be the lowest that they get through the week. So just keep an eye out. Icons as well, baby icons, middle icons. Of course, the icons that get into icon swaps, we'll talk about this tomorrow in the Market Outlook video. They're going to get panic sold right away. But of course, if it's a, especially like a moments Baggio from this last set of icon swaps, that was an all the way at the end, 
it's going to take you a while to get to that card and to be able to attain that. So you're probably going to see a bit of a panic sell and then a rebound uh, on a card like that today. So definitely watch out in this market because there's there's coins to be made. It is a bit risky, uh, like this freeze money 1.05. If I saw this at a million coins. I'd be buying this because I know that on a fluctuation, when it gets rare, I can probably sell them at the 1.1 range or just below that. And that for me is a pretty good flip. And I'm really watching this Messi because I think there might be a chance to get Messi around 4 mil. And I think Messi with his overnights, you know, we might be able to get like a 4.4 or a 4.5. And I kind of want to try this card out in the weekend league too. I think that'd be so sick. But just kind of watch this market today, boys, because I think it's going to go a little bit lower. Of course, with the upgrade packs today, that's going to put people's focus not on the market and not on the weekend league, but into the SBC section, crafting cards. If you're investing in rares, last thing, I know this is a bit of a longer video. If you're investing in the rare cards, rare golds for these upgrade packs, I do believe that they are getting towards 800, 800 coins a piece. Yeah, 800 coins a piece for um, Premier League. Uh, rare golds right there a lot of people were investing in these today of course because they're ready for upgrade packs um so you know these these are probably going to go up and be their cheapest maybe today on sunday they'll be pretty cheap because people who invested will start selling um but probably the rare golds will peak on a day like monday night into tuesday maybe towards wednesday they'll go down for rewards and they'll come back up thursday if we don't have content kind of like we saw last week so if you did invest in those rares uh to make a profit on them later this week I probably would not list them right away. So big day on Sunday today. Again, upgrade packs, potential icon SBCs, and there's just a lot of focus right now on the SBC content as a part of this promo has been good. Now, of course, we've got the Real Madrid versus Sevilla matchup today. So we're going to have an upgrade on one of these cards, either a plus one or a plus two. Big matchup for La Liga as well. So there's a lot of eyes on La Liga right now, and there's a lot of hype with that. So that's why I mentioned the La Liga special cards and stuff like that. If you see big time drop offs today, you know, it might be some of the lowest prices we see heading throughout this week if you're purely wanting to make coins or buying a card for a team. But it's going to be a fun week. We're going to be sending more upgrade packs today um, on the Twitch stream. That'll be linked down below in the description. Trying to pack some of these cards because I think the La Liga Tots cards are going to keep dropping, but I want to try to pack some of these guys, right? Wow, wow. Benzema's getting very cheap. You know, Kunde. I'd love to get him in the squad. Vasquez looks pretty pretty sick. So I think there's a lot of hype for this side. I really do. So that's the video for today, boys. If you did enjoy it, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.